Hello everyone, in this tutorial uh, let us compute the limit of a function using the L'Hopital's rule. So, the function is uh, limit of e power minus 1 by x square by x square. We need to find the limit as x tends to 0. So, if we try to directly find the limit what we get is e power minus 1 by 0 by 0 which is e power minus infinity by 0 which is 0 by 0. This is an indeterminate form. So, let us uh, try and apply the L'Hopital's rule. So, what we do is we uh, differentiate the numerator and denominator separately. So, limit of e power minus 1 by x squared as x tends to 0 will be limit as x tends to 0. Uh, we differentiate e power minus 1 by x squared. So, we get e power minus 1 by x squared into the derivative of minus 1 by x squared which is 2 by x cube divided by 2x. So, this is nothing but limit as x tends to 0. We can cancel this 2 and then we will get e power minus 1 by x squared by x power 4. So, again uh, we get the 0 by 0 form. So, let us uh, apply the L'Hopital's rule again. So, this will be limit as x tends to 0 e power minus 1 by x square again into derivative of minus 1 by x square that would be 2 by x cube divided by 4 x cube. So, uh, here we can cancel out a 2. So, we will get limit as x tends to 0 e power minus 1 by x square divided by 2 x power 6. So, again we have 0 by 0 form. So, if you notice this keeps happening and uh, this is going to go on and we are not going to end up anywhere. So, um, this is not going to help us. Um, what we will do is we will change the look of this function algebraically and then try to apply the L'Hopital's rule. So, uh, what we do here is limit as x tends to infinity e power minus 1 by x squared by x squared. So, um, I will just flip the numerator and denominator and uh, write it accordingly so that they are algebraically the same. So, uh, there is an x squared in the denominator. So, when it comes to the numerator it becomes 1 by x squared and the numerator e power minus 1 by x squared when it goes to the denominator I will have e power 1 by x squared. So, um, this when I apply the limits I will get infinity by infinity form. So, this is an indeterminate form again. So, let us apply the L'Hopital's rule here and see what happens. So, now we apply uh, L'Hopital's rule to the changed form of the function. That is uh, to 1 by x squared by e power 1 by x squared. So, now because it is in the in infinity by infinity form I will apply the L'Hopital's rule. I differentiate the numerator and denominator separately. I will get uh, minus 2 by x cube. The derivative of 1 by x squared is minus 2 by x cube and the derivative of the denominator is e power 1 by x squared into derivative of 1 by x squared which is again minus 2 by x cube. Now, if you notice we can cancel out these terms and we will have limit as x tends to 0 1 by e power 1 by x squared. So, as x tends to 0, 1 by x squared tends to infinity and e power infinity tends uh, e power 1 by x squared tends to infinity. So, the final limit will be equal to 0. So, let us uh, just look at the graph of uh, this function e power minus 1 by x squared by x squared and see graphically what is the limit as x tends to 0. So, here is the graph of the function e power minus 1 by x squared by x squared. So, you can see that the graph is uh, going to 0 when the points are approaching 0. So, you can see that the left limit and the right limit at 0 are both 0 and hence the limit of the function at 0 is equal to 0. Thank you.